All right. Tell us your name, what your major was, what year you graduated. Hi, my name is Sheila Wilamowski. I'm from Lima, Ohio. I was a dual major in political science and criminal justice, and I graduated in May of 2010. Okay, and what are you doing now? I'm currently going to be entering my second year of law school at the University of Toledo College of Law in Toledo, Ohio. Um, this summer, I will be returning to Washington, D.C. to work for the Concerned Women for America organization through the Blackstone Legal Fellowship, which is a counterpart of the Alliance Defense Fund. Okay, and, and while you were here at ONU, you did some work in D.C. Can you describe your internship? Yes, I worked in Washington, D.C. for current uh, U.S. House Speaker John Maynard, uh, then House Minority Leader at the time. Um, I was able to be a congressional intern doing things such as uh, tours of the Capitol building, dealing with mail, meeting with constituents, and doing other daily work activities. Okay, and tell us a little bit about your preparation here at ONU. Did we do anything good in history or political science? Uh, uh, what uh, particularly helped you in law school now? I really felt that the professors always pushed you uh, to not only memorize things, but to actually think about what they meant and how they worked together, especially within my um, criminal justice and pre-law classes. In law school, that helped me not only understand the details that I was attempting to memorize, but also the bigger picture of how everything in the legal world works together so I can identify issues on the law examinations. Okay. And um, how about in political science? Um, in political science, my passion in the legal field is a kind of a merger of political science and general legal work. And so the ability to understand how um, the laws are made and how Washington works helps me to then lobby for the types of laws that I think uh, are critical to um, getting America on the right track. Okay, and getting America on the right track, that's a small, small goal. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so what, what's the, <laughs> no, 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 of course not. So what's the future hold for you? What do you want to do with this law degree? Um, I'm not certain right now. I just want to see what all's out there. I think what I want to do would be something where I'm interacting with a lot of people. Um, I basically want to learn as much as I can about how it all works and then see how I can incorporate that into maybe lobbying or maybe doing uh, legislative um, affairs work um, or perhaps doing something in international contract disputes or something of that nature. Just kind of want to keep an open mind and see where things go and just keep living the dream. <laughs> that was great. Speaking, oh, are we over? No, no, no. no okay. That's no, no. uh, the hard-hitting interview. <laughs> Speaking of international law, you traveled, you studied abroad while you were at ONU. Describe that. Well, through the Hanyang Fellowship, uh, which paid for almost all of my travel expenses and lodging and tuition expenses, I was able to study abroad in Seoul, South Korea uh, for a total of five weeks and then also travel to Xi'an, China for an additional week of international experience. Um, coming from um, a background where I had never even traveled to Canada or Mexico. Uh, this was a huge step, but it was wonderful to travel with other Ohio Northern students of similar backgrounds uh, and experience it for the first time with um, a great group of students at a wonderful organization, uh, university in Seoul, South Korea. All right. Great. Thanks, Sheila. All right. Thank you. Now you're done.